What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Project Aura. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as we continue our little, I don't know, like, like I said, I very much hesitate to call this a tutorial because there's so many things that I don't yet understand about the game that I'm still fiddling with. But we are getting things up and running at this point. We've got ourselves our recycler, so let's take a look at what I did in between the episodes. This is what I did in between the episodes. I got this thing fully up and running so that now it only takes them eight cycles to get it finished, which is much, much, much less than normal. I think that there's 24 cycles in a day, so that means that they do this three times a day now, and we should be getting seaweed out, we should be getting fertilizer out. Yeah, see right there. Fertilizer, we got seaweed, we got all kinds of stuff going on. These guys are leveling up like crazy. It appears as though the ones that are bugged out and not showing that they're leveling up are the versatiles, whereas the recyclers seem to show that they have leveled up, kind of. And as I say that, I'll look and that one won't be. But anyways, maybe it's related to their position on this little, I don't know, connector chart thing. So anyways, this is all set up. We are now recycling at the speed of light, if ever there were such a thing, Albert Einstein be warned. And so now we've got ourselves, let's see, what's going on over here? How long is it taking this guy? He's a level 3 pilot now. She's a level 3 pilot. Piloting a ship and looking good doing it. Well, good on her. Good on her. She deserves it. That's right, she was Minerva Ewing Church. I forgot about her name. She has like the perfect pilot name from like 1910. Every single time I read that, it's like, yep, that's totally one of those old school names that somebody in one of those biplanes flying across the Atlantic Ocean would have. All right, so what we need to do in this episode today on the docket for things we want to accomplish today. We need to get our seaweed factory up and running so that we can feed our peoples. So the seaweed factory, let's see here. Let's see if we can find this thing. Got a residential block. No, prefab, nope. Desalination plant, nip, not what I want. Seaweed farm, there it is. The seaweed farm is what I would like to bring with us into this next adventure. It's got seaweed fattening, drying, and a portal. Okay, so it's got everything that we need right now in order to function properly. I'll probably just drop this bad boy right there. Oh no, we don't have the parts that we need. Oh, this is gonna get so expensive. I'm looking at the parts list right now and I'm just like, yep, this is gonna sting. All right, well, let's go buy our parts real fast before we go anywhere else with all this. We need to buy ourselves 205 alpha prefabs. Okay, so there's our 205 alpha prefabs. We need beta prefabs, which are equally as expensive. We need 110 iron ingots. So we'll get that going. We need ourselves two control panels and two electrical equipments so yeah that was an expensive building for us to the extent that we may not even be able to finish outfitting it we've pretty much used the money to the best of our abilities right now and we've come out with like a 1500 surplus i think if i had worked a little bit faster i could have made it work slightly better but anyways let's get this thing set up there's a number of different parts we have to throw in here we need fattening and drying which i think that we can get from here maybe yeah there's the drying and there's the fattening that's exactly what we need. And so now that we have both of those, we can drag and drop these up to here. These require operators and farmers. So we've got the drying, which is right there. Okay, fantastic. Just like tobacco and multiple other things. We've got to dry these things out properly before we can use them. We also need a director. I think I grabbed a director in between episodes. Yes, I did. I've been on the lookout because I'm always out of directors, like always. I never have the directors that I need. It doesn't bode well for our film industry. Anyways, we're going to need operators now. I don't think I have any operators, which means we're going to have to hire them to dry the seaweed actually as part of the drying process we actually get water out too so water may end up being like one of those really really lucrative things for us we have how much food do we have left food supplies are low we have enough left for another day though so we should be able to get this thing set up without having to worry about starving let's try it we need operators so let's start off there we need four operators this thing doesn't wear down from what I can tell, maybe. It doesn't require building maintenance, so I hope it doesn't break. Anyways, we need operators and farmers, so let's be on the lookout. There's a farmer right there. I respect the hell out of farmers, actually. Farming's a hard business to be in nowadays. It's because ain't nobody farm anything anymore. In my hometown, where I grew up, there were orchards everywhere, and now all the orchards are gone, and they just put in housing development. Like, seriously? I, I don't know if it shows a change in maybe the economy or something. I don't really know, but basically farming in my area has completely died out. When I was a kid, there used to be fields everywhere. Like, all over the place there were fields. And then they're all gone now, and they put in housing subdivisions and things now without even just, like, worrying about it. It's like, eh, whatever. 
And so all these like that used to be like the iconic thing about where I live. That's what we were known for was all of our peach orchards and our apricot orchards. That's like the big thing that put us on the map and allowed the city to grow back in the 1800s. And now it's all gone. There's a couple of orchards still left, but that's because they're owned by stubborn landowners who are like 80 years old that grew up during that time period. And they just like won't give it up. And I respect that. Whatever. It's your land. Do what you want with it. All right. So let's get this thing going right here. So the seaweed fattening is now running. That should give us fed seaweed out of this process. Once we have the fed seaweed, we can get this started off. The fed seaweed, I don't know. It likes to spy on people. It's creating little, like, organizations to spy on other seaweed. The fed seaweed, anyways. I was going to make a financial joke, but I wasn't sure if it would be a 1%er or not. Like, it's in the United States, we have a thing called the Fed that manages, like, the banking and finance. And it's just a bunch of... It's complicated. It's complicated. I'm pretty sure that I can't explain it right, so I'm not even going to try. But I was going to make a joke about our seaweed being well-financed and, you know. Anyways, I'm just going to walk away from the joke now. And we need to wait and see what happens. We've got to wait till we get some more farmers and we need some more operators. And up until that happens, we are not going to be productive. So let's chill for a little bit. I do wish that there was, like, an 8 or a 10 times speed that we could throw this on. We're about to have... I think they get fed at the end of the day. I don't think they have, like, lunches and things like that. I think they get fed at the end of the day. And once they get fed at the end of the day, it actually deducts everything from here. And it should be one portion per person. So, yeah, it's 35 altogether. I don't know if we're actually going to get this done in time. There's one new colonist available to be woken up. He's a programmer, unfortunately. We don't have a whole lot of use for programmers right now. The programmers are going to be for later on in the game. I've been looking through some of the, like, the random abilities and some of the random, like, technological upgrades, and it looks like you're going to have, like, a research facility. From that research facility, you're going to be able to start out and essentially... Let me sell off all this water, actually. Let me... Oh, I'm not going to sell it all off. But let's start by going with portions of 15, and I'll try and bail us out for the next day. See, sometimes it just doesn't stick. That's the weirdest thing. There we go. So we'll bring that over there so that we've got enough for the next day for water. And then we're going to produce a whole bunch because that's how our cycles work. And so what I'm going to try and do anyways is maybe vendor some of this to make some cash. We need the money really, really badly. And what I'll do over here is instead we'll spend that money on 50 seaweed portions to bail us out for another day or two. Actually, we need 10 more in order for this to work. So let's go for... 10 more seaweed portions here there we go we should be producing our own very very shortly but for right now we're just gonna have to like wait it out and hope for the best i'll start allocating some of this water to our supplies as we go along in the hopes that maybe we won't bottom out here it looks like they are just about done on this side with their seaweed production actually is the recycler how fast is this putting out seaweed it's got to be putting it out really really fast so eight cycles, that means it's doing it three times a day. So we should be getting 300 seaweed out a day, and that's all that we get. Or do we get anything else? Oh, 300 manure and 300 seaweed. Okay, so it's producing. It's producing. It's nothing to slouch at. We might be able to, be able to catch up right here. Anyways, we need to wait and see. We have no food supplies to feed our citizens. You should. It seems okay to me. I think it's pinging that improperly. There are six people we can wake up now. Hopefully some of them will be useful to us. So there's a versatile, definitely useful. We have all the farmers we need, but we need more operators. So there's a couple operators right there. So we've got a versatile, an operator. I don't think we need any more recyclers, at least not for a little bit. Now, after we get done with this, this is basically our first production chain done. And so this means that we are now self-sufficient and we can feed ourselves, which is very, very important. We made it before we ran out of money, too, which is kind of a big deal. Luckily, we don't have to pay any of these guys. They're basically slaves. So, well, I mean, it's either that or they can go for a swim. So I guess they're not slaves, they're just like positively contributing to the life of the colony because they have no choice because we'll throw them into an ocean full of what I conceive as being hypernutrientic sharks. I don't know, like enormous sharks that are just like hanging out right there. Bud O'Hara, he sounds like he's a guitarist in an old 80s metal band, although he'd go with the middle name. If I know anything about old 80s metal, he would go with Rhodes O'Hara. Rhodes O'Hara, that's the name right there. If you're a rock star, it's impossible for you to not make it in the rock industry with a name like Rhodes O'Hara. Come on now, that's the best name ever. On this side, we need fed seaweed, and they actually haven't finished their first cycle yet. So we got to wait for that to happen. It looks like it's taken them 15 cycles, so it takes them two days to produce one stack of fed seaweed. Ooh, that's bad. That's not good at all. These farmers need to get better at their job quickly. So he's at level 2 already, and so is that one. So they're picking up the slack, I guess. They're doing 15 or 13 per cycle. Ew. Okay, so this is going to be the big, big hitch in our plan. Technically, I could make this work better if I added one to the blueprint. I could add another... I could add another seaweed fattening spot so that we could have two more farmers added, because you can make custom builds if you want to, by the way. 
Like, we could make it so that it had two fattening facilities and one seaweed facility. You could do that just like I showed in the previous episode by going into the templates menu. In fact, let's I'll show you that one more time. So let's say we wanted to do what I had done right there. We're going to go to the building menu. We're going to go to the seaweed farm. We would go to a fresh template, and what we would do is we would have seaweed fattening. So we put that right there. We do another seaweed fattening if we wanted to and let's say that we didn't need any drying right here we only wanted fattening we could then just drop a portal in and we could just have a fattening facility right there if that's what we wanted to do and in fact i think that might be a wise decision aside from the fact that it's going to be very very expensive to make it happen so i think we'll probably just have to sit on this one for a little while and just sort of see where it ends up i think that this is not breaking down correct this should not be losing hp as it produces right okay so as soon as we get done we should be able to produce ourselves some seaweed i we need that fat and seaweed though, it's at 76%, and so I'm figuring we probably have a couple cycles left, it should be done before the end of the day, and then from there we'll be able to throw a bit more onto the pile. But yeah, maybe another fattening facility might be a good idea, we don't have the money for it right now though, so I guess we're just going to have to sit back and wait for it. We've got a versatile right there, or we could have another operator, bring the operator, I'd rather have the operator. And that's going to be the last person we're going to hire for a little while. It says we have three people unemployed right now. That's because... Oh, they don't disappear. I'm an idiot. They go into this menu right here. I am super stoops. I don't know why I said that. But I'm probably going to like go back on that right now and say that I'm just an asshole. And I have been misleading you. Do we have any super engineers or anything? No, we have seniors. All right. Well, it looks like I have a senior technician and a senior versatile. I'll probably put the senior versatile in here then. God, I didn't realize. I thought that, like, it would show everything. I thought it was on the All tab, but there is no All tab. It's only got Junior, Senior, Master, God. I know I'm going to I'm gonna get so many comments for that. I'm going to look back through the videos right now. And you know how many comments there's going to be? It's going to be bad. I'll probably try and annotate it or something in post. Just make it a little bit better. As of right now, though, we're pretty much, like, self-sufficient at the moment. I'd like to do another facility where possibly we could... Did they eat all the food already? Oh, no. They're going to eat the food tomorrow. Okay, that's fine. I'm not even tripping about that then. We should be all right here. I could throw some of this water into the larder as well to make sure that we don't run. Oh, there's the fat and seaweed right there. So let's get these guys moving. We will have them dry that seaweed out. And so we'll have them do one rotation right there. And that should give us enough food to last another couple days as soon as it gets finished. Looks like it's going to take six cycles. That's actually not too long. So yeah, I think it might be a wise idea for us to maybe think about grabbing ourselves another... If we could get the money together anyways, I think it might be a wise idea for us to figure out if it would be at all possible to dry a bit more seaweed. Uh, or I'm sorry, fatten a bit more seaweed. If we had another fattening facility, I think we'd be in better shape right now. Everything's still functioning, right? Everything's still looking good. Are you guys like the... Oh, the recycler turned off. Why did you turn off, recycler? It turned off because we ran out of supplies, so I'm going to have to babysit that a little bit, I see. That would explain why the seaweed has not been flowing in. And much like Dune, the seaweed must flow. It is the only way that we keep this up and running. If the seaweed does not flow, we are in just like a miserable situation. And then we have like this lady running around doing commercials. It's, it's bad. It's bad. Flo does not like seaweed, I would guess. Flo strikes me as the kind of person that would probably like a giant bacon cheeseburger. A trustworthy human being, as it were. I'm just joking. I'm just joking, vegans. Calm down. It's a joke. Anyways, let's have ourselves... Can I swap out any of these operators? I don't suppose that I have, like, a master operator sitting around here anywhere. I have a technician. Okay. So, and then I've got a junior operator, actually. So, maybe it would be a better idea to delete one of these versatiles and put the operator in there. And I think I did that knowing full well that I had an extra operator... Erwin Cortez. That's another name. God, everybody in this, every single person in this game has like a superhero name. There we go. I mean, technically our colony should be able to self-subsist like from now on and just like not have to worry about anything. We should be fine. I think. It'll depend. If we could throw 100 into there, 100 into the larder, from there on we could actually start getting rid of this stuff. Seaweed portions look like we're barely hanging in there. That's the problem is that we need a surplus that we can make money off of. And as of right now, there is no surplus. We're basically just kind of like sitting on the exact things that we have. I wish that maybe I could like spawn a bit more money for myself or something, but... This is about the best you can do with the early game. I don't know if this is where I want to break off the entire series. Technically, I could show you guys how to get started off with plastics production, but as it stands right now, I'm kind of stuck waiting and seeing like how this is all going to go. Basically, I just need to sit and let the game run for a while. 
Are you flying right now? I get the feeling, oh, he is flying. Okay, or she is flying. I'll probably just go, like, maximum organics extraction right there. Hopefully that doesn't reset anything that's still moving. Okay, it doesn't. Awesome. Pretty happy about that, actually. The alpha. That, or I just watched How to Train Your Dragon 2 last night. And so weird. How many times does that dude say, the alpha? Like, every single time. Like, you have, like, a... What's going on with that? The alpha. Like, every single time he says it, it bothers me. I don't know why. The way that he says alpha. I don't know. It's weird. It bothers me. I feel like he's talking about a guy named Al who is then going to get himself some Vietnamese food or something. We have like so much. I don't know. It seems like food goes through in vogue in the United States. I'm not really sure. Right now, it seems like every street corner has like a pho place, like a Vietnamese pho noodle house showing up. And like five or six years ago, it was all like Afghanistan food. Uh, do you say Afghanistani? I don't know. It's hard. I don't know how you pluralize. Like, how do you give it a. So there's like Afghani. There's Afghan. There's Afghanistani. Like, how do you denote the food? Is it, is it Afghanistani food? I guess it's probably Afghanistani food. Anyways, a few years ago, Afghanistani food was really popular. Before that, it was Indian food, where it felt like there was an Indian restaurant opening up every other day. Like, it's just like, it seems like it goes through cycles here in the United States, where, like, things get really, really popular. All that pho is, is it's like chicken noodle soup with seaweed in it and stuff. That's all that it is. It's delicious. It's good. But I can't justify paying, like, ten bucks for, like, a little thing of it. I just, man. It seems to be one of those things that all the trendy people are eating nowadays, though. I wouldn't know anything about that. I am deliciously untrendy. Oh, good. We have a seaweed portion right there. I would love to make a drying facility. We need to make a second drying facility. Otherwise, this is simply just not going to... This is not going to work for us. However, we do have enough food now to where people seem to be taken care of. I'll probably sell off this water portion. I don't know. I might let it ride for a little while. We'll see where it ends up. But frankly, I think I could probably sell off some of this to start financing maybe our next building. We need to make another dryer. That's the hitch in our giddy up right now. So let's see here. I need to go with, if I wanted to make a dryer, where's that template at that I made? So I only want the seaweed, I'm sorry, the seaweed fattening. That's all that I want is the seaweed fattening and that right there. I can't imagine that it would be that expensive to produce one of those. Yeah, it looks like it's perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and make another one of these. And what I'll do is I'll wheel it into position, I don't know, like right there or something. I don't know, I don't like the configuration right now. This does not look nice to me. This looks troublesome. I guess, uh, oh, we don't have the materials. <laughs> That's what I get. All right, so let's go buy the materials then. We need 105 alpha prefab. <sighs> we need 10 iron ingots. We're, it's going to be close. It's going to be really, really close. And then I don't think we're going to make it. We're not going to make it. Damn it. No, we are, but we're going to make it exactly... No, that can't be right. We have exactly zero money if we build this, but it will save us, kind of. I'm going to do it. We have exactly zero money. Hooray for us. We have zero money. That's where we are in the world right now. Okay, well, since we have zero money, let's go ahead and... I think this will probably be one of the last things we need in order to get things up and running. So there it is. We won't have the people to work in it, though, unfortunately, unless we have a bunch of versatile sitting around. We have two people. I think we have a technician. They're both seniors. We have a senior technician and we have a senior versatile. In order to make this work properly... Oh, we can't get the seaweed fattening thing either. So, yeah, that was actually kind of a waste for us. We're out of money. We are officially out of money. So the only thing left to do is just chill and wait around until, like, we have money again. And so that's probably what I'll do. I'll probably end this episode right here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Project Aura. Essentially, we just got to sit around at this point. We were pretty careful with our money. I think the only thing we could have scrimped and saved on is probably by going one less of these right here had I known how we could produce more manure. But anyways, I, that would have only saved us like 700 and so we could have gotten this up and running using that money, but that's about it. For right now, I've got to sit around off camera and wait for the cash to flow in. Let me know. This might be the last episode that I recorded this. Just to give you a feeling for what the game is like right now, there is a whole bunch more stuff that you can make. You can make a vegetable garden, which is a whole other production line that requires two or three more buildings. You can make a plastics production, which comes from... Oh, plastics production is pretty, pretty absorbing. Plastics production is like a, it's like a chain of like six or seven buildings to get to a final product. It's pretty bad. 
It's it takes a while to get there and it's one of those things that you're just gonna have to like sit through Metals we can do that as well And in fact, I think the metals might have been a good idea for us We might have been able to make a little bit of money that way I may try actually I don't know if raw metals that we pull out of the ocean are gonna be valuable in any respect But for right now, we're just gonna hang out. I'm gonna babysit this for a little while Let me know if you want to see more episodes and I will oblige if you want to see more episodes I can absolutely 100% do that. It's not a big deal to me But on my end what we're gonna do right now is I'm just gonna farm up some cash that's all that there is for us to do right now is get some cash all nice and farmed up. I will see you later in the next episode once we've accumulated a little bit of that Skrilla. And hopefully we'll be able to start something else on up. Don't forget, leave me comments down below. If I don't get a ton of comments, people telling me that they want to see this series, I feel like we've covered the game. Basically, we set up more production lines for like vegetables and for plastics and things like that. We can do that. It's just, you know, it's the same process we went through right here. So anyways, I'll see you all later. Hi to everybody. See you next time.